Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I am gonna show you all the products I bought at Sephora during their sale they just recently had. So I'm excited to show you guys everything I got. Some really, really good products that I'm super excited to try. So if you like these videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe to see more beauty content by me. Let's go. All right, I'm just gonna dig in. So I've had a lot of things on my list for a while and I never really got around to getting them. And then the sale came around. I was like, this is a perfect time. And the first product that I've always wanted was the Lady Gaga House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. House Tech powered with Bio Ferment 7 Complex Intelizin, Intelizin 7 Complex. A clean, cutting edge, long wear foundation that delivers superior makeup performance without compromising your skin. Infused with 20 plus skincare ingredients, buildable medium coverage, luminous second skin finish, ultra fluid weightless formula. Sounds freaking amazing. So I have a hard time finding like my undertone and like a foundation to match my skin because my body never matches my face. I self tan. I can't keep up with it. I forget about it and I don't put it on my face. So I just try to find a foundation I have in my collection and try to match my body as best I can. So I went with 145 light cool. I was also in a rush because I went after work and I had a lot of things to do and I was in a rush when I picked out all my shades. Like I had my list already, but the shades and tones, I was like, I have no idea. So Hopefully this isn't too off. This is a pretty expensive foundation, but if it delivers what it says, I'm all for it. Very nice packaging. I feel like this box is pretty nice. And this is super sleek, like a matte bottle. Silver cap looks like it's a pump. You get, let's see, you get one fluid ounce. So very, very sleek. I will do a video coming up trying all these products and I'll also do a full foundation review on this guy. So stay tuned and subscribe so you can see when I post those. So let's just see what this shade looks like. It's a very hefty bottle. Like if I were to throw this, it's like a rock. <laughs> okay, I definitely like that color. I do feel like I have a cooler undertone and then my self tan will have like a yellow cooler undertone. So that's why I got this color because I also have a lot of red and pink underneath. So that is a really, really good color. I'm excited. I think that will be a really good match. And the way it's like blending on my hand, like going in like a lotion. So it definitely feels skin like. So I'm excited to try it on my face. Base. feels comfortable doesn't feel heavy 145 light cool is light with cool golden peach undertone so I feel like that's gonna work for me with my pinky peach redness going on in my face and then sometimes I have like golden undertones in like my self tan this is just like really faded but this is what I live at most of the time so hopefully this is a good match if not I can always exchange it and they have so many shades that's a lot of foundation shades and it was $45. So I am super stoked for this foundation. These next products, I've always wanted to try them. I just never got around to purchasing them and I figured the sale would be the perfect time. So some Huda Beauty, I can never say it without messing it up. Huda Beauty, I always say Huda Booty. <laughs> Huda Beauty. So I got the concealer. This is the Faux Filter Luminous Matte Liquid Concealer. I heard really good things about this. I have really dark under eyes, but also they get really dry, but I need the coverage. So we will see if this beats my all-time favorite Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. And then I got the shade Cotton Candy. I went back and forth 20 times about the concealer shades. So I went with cotton candy. I was gonna go with coconut flakes. I was worried it would have too much yellow undertone. And then sometimes that under my eyes, if it oxidizes a little, can make them look heavy. So that's why I went with cotton candy because I feel like it had a more peachier, cooler undertone. Here's the packaging. You get 0.3 fluid ounces. It's really, really sleek, very matte. Oh, it looks really light. Now I'm nervous this might be too light. Let's see. Did I pick the right concealer? It's on my hand. Okay. Actually, that's not too bad. So there is cotton candy. Obviously, it's a good match for like my natural skin tone. I might have to exchange it for another shade. I like the undertones of all her concealers were really, really good. I am just not great at picking shades out. <laughs> if you could help me, that would be wonderful. 
So this is supposed to be a matte buildable coverage waterproof concealer, transfer proof vitamin E to visibly blur, brighten, and conceal. And then sweet almond oil condition and care for delicate under eye skin. So it sounds really promising. Can't wait to try that. And then I also got her baking powder, the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I went with Cupcake. Why do they make packaging so hard to open? I guess it makes sense. You know, you don't want people ripping stuff open in the store, so make it difficult. <laughs> Dang, that is a lot of powder. So I just finished my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. Love that powder, but I wanted to try something new, so that is why I'm trying out the Huda Beauty one. Love this packaging. Oh, it's scented. I like the smell a lot, but if you don't do scents very well, definitely smell it in stores before you buy it. So this has the pinkier undertone, kind of what I want just to see if it helps brighten my under eyes. Wow. That is like super finely milled. I don't know if you can see it. Wow. It smells really good. It reminds me of something. I don't know what it reminds me of, but I really like it. Let's see what it says online. The cupcake is fair to light skin tones, pink undertones to brighten disguise under eye darkness. Exactly what I'm looking for. $38. Forgot to tell you, the concealer was $31. This is $38. I saw they have mini sizes in these powders now, which is pretty cool. Lightly pigmented, silky setting powder that bakes and sets, blurs the look of fine lines, locks in makeup for 10 hours with an airbrush finish. Vitamin E moisturizes and strengthens the skin barrier for a smooth application. Rice starch powder absorbs absorbs excess oil. Micronized powder allows you to layer without caking. Non-comedogenic, flashback free, blends seamlessly into the skin with a matte finish to control shine and keep makeup in place all day. This just sounds freaking awesome. Really hype about that as well. I needed a new waterproof eyeliner, like a gel eyeliner that I can tight line my waterline. So I heard really good things about the KVD Tattoo Pencil Liner, long wear gel eyeliner, all day wear, intense pigment, ultra versatile, and I got it in Trooper Black, which is the traditional really dark black. I have this in the Felt Tip Liquid Marker Liner, which I really, really like. I'm excited for this because I heard it won't bleed like into like your inner corner and all that jazz. So hopefully this is a winner. Oh, it's twist up. Okay. Mm, very black. Oh yeah, that's not even smudging. That's pretty cool. $23, an ultra smooth transfer resistant gel pencil eyeliner that has the iconic waterproof all day wear of KVD Beauty's best selling tattoo liner. It's free of all that crap, vegan, cruelty free. We love that. Can't wait for this. Can't wait. Some lip products. I got the iconic Charlotte Till Tilt. <sighs> I got one of the best selling lip liners out there. So this is Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat, Lip Cheat, <laughs> Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. I feel like that's one of her best selling shades. This is Reshape and Resize Lip Liner. Balance your lip shape and size by drawing along the outer edge of your natural lip line, blah, 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 blah. Yes, we know how to outline our lips sometimes. <laughs> Let me read a little bit about it. So there was Pillow Talk, which was the pink nude, but looking for more cool tone, like true, like beige nude. So I went with the iconic nude. This is vegan, long wear, velvety lip liner to reshape and resize the lips. Creates a smooth, seamless line for a fuller pout. The no smudge waterproof formula lasts up to six hours with no feathering or transferring. The texture is rich and velvety to lay comfortably on your lips, wear alone or with a gloss for a lighter finish. And this was $25. Let's open her up. It looks like it's just a traditional pencil where you have to sharpen. This color looks really pretty. Like a nice and natural nude. Very creamy. Mm, it's not really smudging when I rub that. That's good. So hopefully it is long lasting. I do love my NYX lip liners, but you know, I'm trying to buy some higher end products to kind of compare and see which I prefer better. Excited about that. And then another lip product to kind of go along with that is Makeup by Mario. This is my first product by him. I know he is very up and coming these days. So this is the Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream. This color looked really pretty. Again, I'm on the hunt for cool beigeier nude colors this is nude suede it was 26 dollars everyone likes black packaging i guess <laughs> okay very sleek you can see the color there i like that again it's in nude suede oh 
pretty color. Very velvety and creamy. That's the color, like a really, really pretty beigey nude. Satin matte lip cream that cushions lips comfortably in one swipe color while blurring and smoothing. Liquid lipstick, hydrating long wear. Passion fruit seed oil, leaves lips feeling soft and nourished. Free of parabens, mineral oil, and sulfates. It's vegan and cruelty free, always what I look for in makeup products. Featuring a whipped mousse-like texture, one swipe cushions lips and long wearing satin matte color. I'm just looking for some liquid lips that don't dry out my lips. So hopefully this is a winner. And then last but not least, I got some shampoo and conditioner. This is by Amika The Cure. I heard really good things about this. This is their Bond Repair shampoo and conditioner. I have the shampoo in my bathroom already. So at Sephora on the shelf, it said for high porosity hair, which I have. So I have like fine hair. And when I get out of the shower, my hair will instantly start drying because it loses moisture really quickly. It doesn't really keep in a lot of moisture. So when this said that it's good for high porosity hair, I was like, I need to try this. And my hair is getting a lot healthier. I stopped bleaching it blonde and I'm getting haircuts every eight weeks and I limit the heat and I take really good care of my hair right now. So it's getting better, but I figured I'd try this because I do still feel like I have high porosity hair even though my hair is healing. So this says, damaged hair, take note, serious revitalization is on the way, packed with Bond Cure technology, vegan protein, and plant butters. This repairing conditioner is clinically proven to strengthen, soften, and bring dry, damaged hair back from the breaking point when used with the Cure Bond Repair Shampoo. You get 9.2 fluid ounces. The packaging is stunning. I also love their Soul Food Hair Mask. It's the one in the orange tub. I absolutely love that. It smells so good. It conditions my hair so well. It smells amazing. And then, you know, I didn't even smell this in store. I just literally put it in my basket, but I figured all Amika products smell really, really good. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of Amika products. Ah. Oh. It smells so good. Hopefully this, you know, is good for my hair. I have fine hair, hopefully it doesn't weigh down, but it hydrates, so I'm excited to try this duo out and just keep getting my hair healthier. That is the goal. All right guys, so that's everything I purchased at the Sephora event sale that happened recently. I know it's not a lot of products, but I still spent a lot of money. <laughs> It's just crazy. I could go to Ulta and buy a mix of high-end and drugstore, spend the same amount of money and get like three times the amount of stuff, but that's okay. These are really good brands, so I'm excited to try them out. Again, stay tuned for that video. I will have that video up next. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you can see when I upload next and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, let me know down below in the comments what you got the sale, what you've been eyeing up, products that you love and that you would always buy time after time from Sephora. I would love to know your guys' recommendations. I'm always trying new products. I'm always on the hunt for the next best thing. So please let me know down below and I will see you next time. Bye!